Hi there, Kate from The Full Freezer, back again with Instant Brands cooking with the Instant Pot Pro Crisp this week. And we are going to be making a freezer stash butternut squash and sweet potato soup. Now this is a lovely, spicy, warming soup, absolutely perfect for those winter days and super quick as well. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we are going to preheat our Instant Pot. So we're just popping it onto the saute function. So this is just gonna start to warm up. Now, whilst that's warming up, just taking a look at the ingredients we've got. We've got frozen red onion, some frozen butternut squash, frozen sweet potato, frozen garlic, frozen ginger. Now, these can all be bought in a supermarket, ready prepped, ready to go, and you can use them straight from frozen. So this is really convenient to have in your house just for those days where you can't really be bothered but you want something nice quick and hearty okay so we're going to start with sauteing our onions so I've got a bit of butter here you could use coconut oil you could use just vegetable oil whatever you've got in stock now this is going to go quick then pop in our red onion as well we're then going to add in our frozen butternut squash so that can go straight in there and our frozen sweet potato as well. So we're just gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Garlic, so I'm gonna add about a teaspoon. You can obviously make it a little bit more garlicky if you like. Um, we've also got about a teaspoon of ginger. If you like it spicier, add a little bit more ginger as well. And then we're going to add a Big pinch of cumin. Again, you could use cumin seeds if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more, some extra flavor. And some chili flakes too. So just gonna pop those in. And then we're gonna give it a little stir again. And then we are literally just going to pop in our veggie stock. So I've got half a stock cube here with 300 ml of water. If you want it a bit saltier, you could put a whole stock cube in. You could use veggie stock or you can use chicken stock. And then we're just gonna stir it a little bit more and then we'll cancel the saute function. And then we're gonna pop it onto pressure cook for eight minutes. Okay, so this has had eight minutes cooking. It's now come on to the keep warm setting, which basically means that if you're doing other things around the house, you can totally just leave this and it will just naturally release the pressure over time. If you're in a rush though, you can just hit the switch at the top and we're gonna release this pressure, which will happen really quickly. <laughs> Okay, so once the pin has dropped and the pressure is released, we can take the lid off. Do be really careful because of course this is gonna be super hot. And then all you need to do is grab a hand blender and we're just gonna blend it straight within the pot. So that's it, my spicy butternut squash soup cooked straight from frozen in the Pro Crisp. Now, the beauty of this recipe is it serves two. So if you're just the one, you can absolutely freeze the leftovers. Now, if you were doing this, I would basically pop them in a freezer bag, make sure you label it so you know what it is, and then freeze it flat on a tray. Once it's frozen flat, you're gonna be able to take much less space in your freezer and it will defrost super quick. But for now, I'm gonna leave that over there because I want to enjoy this. So I'm gonna be adding a dollop of creme fraiche and I'm gonna be adding a little bit of black pepper. Now, I would love to know if you give this recipe a go. Please do tell me in the comments, are you a creme fraiche fan or are you gonna leave it as it is? Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Proper winter day food. <laughs> 